Do you remember that kid update that I kept hyping on these videos? Well, it is finally happening because Roots of Pacha is getting two major updates. Yes! Two major updates soonish, and I'm talking about kids and pets aging up, kids going to school, more union locations, evolution, new biomes, and a heckin' lot more. So without further yada yada, let me tell you all about them. Lego. According to Sodadance Devlog42, the update will be divided into two parts. Roots of Pacha 1.2 is gonna be big, but 1.3 is gonna be even bigger. And the planned release date for update 1.2 will be in early quarter 3, so that's in about 4 months. I'm so excited, I can't breathe! And the first one for 1.2 are for Xbox players. The game will finally be released on Xbox and everyone can play with their friends across different platforms. This is super awesome because you don't have to buy the game twice just to play co-op with your friends. Our pixel babies will also now be useful because they will be able to grow and attend school. This means new sets of dialogues, new schedules, and even apprenticeship. And in addition to schools, we can teach our children about animals and agriculture by letting them help in the farm. And I really like that they're adding this feature because there's not a lot of cozy farming life sims that has this, except for Kinsey, but that's not exactly a similar game. Nevertheless, they are both good. The Promise Union locations are also rolling on this update as we are graced with two new additional locations. One is a beautiful beach wedding and the other one seems to be a cave wedding location. Now that we have three locations though, the OG being the forest wedding, which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments! Kids aren't the only ones growing up in this game because the world of Roots of Pacha is very much alive as pets like wolf pups and cave lion cubs can now age up into their adult versions if we feed them the right thing. We still don't know what that right thing is, so maybe um, like and subscribe to stay tuned. But yes, the benefit of this is that we can send our pets to adventures and they might even bring back something like meat or produce. Other things rolling in 1.2 are early watering systems so that watering crops won't take up our whole day in the early game, giving us more time to explore. We're also getting UI improvement for fishing, more dance songs and OST updates, and other QOL stuffies like saving at any point in the game. For 1.3, it's an even bigger update in which the world of Roots of Pacha is gonna get livelier, because we're getting 4 new romanceable and 18 non-romanceable characters with their own cutscenes, along with 2 new biomes with 4 subregions each. We'd also get new cave systems, tent sleeping so we don't pass out in the mountains, and unlockable homes in other regions. There will also be 2 new festivals, 4 new animals and 6 evolved animals, new plant variation, line fishing minigame, a heckin' lot of new minigames, and more quests. There's still no promised date for the 1.3 update, but that's alright, because as you can see, that do be a heckin' lot of new stuffs. And I can't wait to start a new save when the 1.3 rolls in. So, are you excited about anything specific added in 1.2 or 1.3? Let me know in the comments! Also, super thanks to our lovely channel members and friends as always for being the bestest humans in the interwebs. And thank you to Sodadan2, the developers of Roots of Pacha, for your continuous hard work on this game and for implementing your community suggestions. And to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Roots of Pacha stuffs coming your way. Bye bye!